Can you prove this? Only if I can find a value of X that makes it true. I'll try. Hmm. Hmm. Is this a solution? They have the same parity. That's the number of arguments. One, two, one, two. See, same parity. Those are the functors, and those functors are different. Not the same, no. So these don't match. Not a solution. Too bad. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Same arity. Same functor. Do the arguments match? That's Bob. And that's Charlie. That's not a match. It's not a solution. Boop a doop a doop a doo. Oh, look. Same functor. Same arity. The first argument matches. Woohoo! Okay. The second argument would match if the X, which we don't know, was George. So, X gotta be George, or it can be George. And then I've proved it. See? If X is George, I've proved it. Hey, you lefty. Hey. Uh, so, what you got? If X is George, then this clause proves it. It does. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. But uh, are there other solutions? Nope, they don't know. Hey, you lefty. Hey, got something for me? Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Bob knows everybody. See? X can be anybody. Oh, okay. Eh. Are there <laughs> other solutions? Look, folks, I need this job, so uh, I'm off for other solutions. Good grief. <laughs>